Now, the race to fill Steve Pierce's vacated House seat in the 2nd Congressional District is one of the most watched races in the country tonight. Congre Congressional District 2 is between Republican Yvette Harrell and the Democrat Zotel Torres Small. Results showing at this hour that Harrell is still maintaining a slim lead tonight. Let's get to News 13's Chris McKee, who is with Harrell's campaign. Chris is live tonight in Alamogordo. Yeah, Dean, we expect to hear from Yvette Harrell here in the next few minutes. She hasn't addressed her supporters here in several hours, but she is surrounded by her local community here in Otero County at the Elks Lodge, uh, who remain positive as she has held on to a lead since the early results came in. This is what she had to say to the crowd earlier. This has been the most exciting, scary, fun, dumb, goofy, exhilarating thing in the whole entire world. And I couldn't have done it without all of you. Thank you for sharing the journey. Harrell, of course, is an eight-year state rep. A win for her would be her first time in federal office. Harrell is also closely aligned with the president. At a rally, the vice president, with the vice president, just in the last few weeks here, Mike Pence saying Yvette Harrell was supporting the president since, quote, before it was cool. And we are, again, still waiting to hear from Harrell here tonight at our campaign rally here out in Alan Gordo, but we will let you know exactly when that happens, if we can. Uh, but in the meantime, we want to send it over to News 13's Marissa Lucero. She has been with Zo Zosial uh, Torres Small's campaign, the Democratic challenger in this. Yeah, Chris, thank you. Well, Torres Small has a packed house here tonight. As you can see, a full group of supporters. They've been patiently waiting since about 7 this evening. And as history shows, winning the seat as a Democrat is tough. And as expected, this race is so, so close. It's really hard to say. Um, it's just a, it's, a, it's a battle between the Democrats and the Republicans big time. So, you know, like I said, I know how I hope it turns out. I won't say, but... <laughs> Two, except for the one term after Democrat Harry Teague won in 2008 as Pierce gave up the seat to run for the Senate. Now, Torres Small is a water rights attorney from Las Cruces and a former staffer for U.S. Senator Tom Udall. Now, if she wins tonight, this will be her first go around in a political office. Now, we still have yet to even see or hear from Torres Small. And like I said, she has a big group of supporters, but we will keep you updated as those results start to come in. Back to you. All right. Again, thank you, Marissa. Again, we are live. We're keeping a close eye on Congressional, Congressional District to too close to call right now. And we will let you know as soon as those final numbers come in.